the metro. Hundreds of families are still in the dark days after powerful storms hit the metro Sunday night. On the right, the Evergy outage map shows 2,300 customers are still in the dark. On the Kansas side, the Board of Public Utilities still has about 400 families in the dark. That repair work from the weekend is almost done. KMEC 9's Andy Alcock rode along with a BPU repair crew today in KCK to see what it takes to get your lights back on. To help get this restoration work done, BPU has hired some outside contractors, including this crew putting in a new line from Winfield, Kansas. Tree damage knocked out the power to about a block of BPU customers on South 10th Terrace. Repair work included removing the damaged line, attaching a new one, and then finally using a pole to flip the switch to restore power. Chris Young is one of the thousands of BPU customers who lost power Sunday. What have these last two days been like for you? Brutal. Straight up brutal. I'm not going to lie. We had to go get a hotel last night. It was way too hot. It's painful. And we want to get everybody up as quickly as we can and as safely as we can. This latest restoration effort comes just a little over two weeks after another storm knocked out power to more than half of BPU's customers. One of them is Young, who was one of the few hundred customers without power Tuesday after more than 11,000 of them had it back. I guess I saved the best for last. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I just want it back on, man. Me and my neighbors were all uh, irritated. It's expected power will be restored to almost all of BPU's customers by the end of the day. But as you can see by all of this debris from trees all over the place, cleanup is going to take longer. In KCK, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. And according to the BPU, some customers may need to hire private electricians to fix or replace broken meter boxes or other wiring issues before power can be restored.